investing in education of women and girls will, will pay off. This uh, program, which uh, we now implement together with the government of Kazakhstan, with the government of Uzbekistan, and with the support of European Union, will contribute eventually to education and empowerment at least 50 promising female. I was very, very happy that I, uh, I have been selected for this program. When I heard this, wow, I'm chosen. <laughs> it was like a kind of shockable uh, news for me. I'm really interested in this major and I want to be uh, a professional and expert in business analyst and I want to have my own organization and I will be back to Afghanistan and also I want to have my own business to, to provide some job opportunities to Afghan women. I hope that uh, I will fulfill my wishes, my dreams to my country so I could uh, develop my country, I could work with our women uh, and empower their abilities. So the importance of this project is uh, with the good cooperation and regional cooperation of the neighboring countries in Central Asia, they have been given the opportunity to study at the university, very qualified university in uh, Kazakhstan. This is a perfect opportunity for them to pursue their dreams, to acquire the skills and knowledge that is uh, there in the region. Let me give you a few figures uh, on Afghanistan. It's only um, around 20% of women are literate. Jobs for women are scarce. Only around 4% of female in Afghanistan enjoy um, the jobs uh, at the managerial level. So these and many other problems have, um, of course, made the governments and the United Nations to, to think how we can contribute, how we can change the situation. Women represent half of a country. Afghanistan itself is a, is a, is a way a mosaic of various populations, including Uzbeks and Tajiks and others. And so the fact that you have neighboring countries who have a very different uh, success rate, a much better success rate in, um, in education of women or role of women in societies, I think can only be positive and uh, one can only hope that, uh, that is by sharing these experiences the situation of Afghan women and uh, we've seen today the, the low level of literacy, the low level of employment can be, can be improved by, by learning from these neighbors' examples. Many other factors contributed to us to give birth to this joint program, whereas uh, we can uh, educate Afghans uh, in our country. It is cheaper than it is to be done in the European Union. It is closer to Afghanistan. Uh, it is also a Muslim-majority secular country, so that was another reason. This is a project that is part of a sustained regional cooperation that uh, does not only uh, impact uh, on the situation in Afghanistan, uh, but uh, it, it uh, also impacts the whole uh, region. When we talk with women um, who came here, we realize that it's it's more than just curriculum. You know, it's more than academic um, study that they come here for. They they communicate with their peers, and it's about building networks. It's about learning from from the example of you know Kazakh women, how Kazakh women behave, how where they work, uh, how they develop their careers. So it's more about learning from, from the examples. Being in a place that you will feel diversity, it means a lot. I will experience lots of things beside my studies. Uh, I will know more people. I will have more, uh, a network of different people, a network of uh, different uh, uh, friends in Kazakhstan because we are not only uh, in here that is studying here uh, in Kazakhstan. There are lots of people like uh, from other countries like China, Tajikistan, that uh, it's a good opportunity uh, to have uh, good networking. Here I am teaching at university and be a good example for them that they can see that girls or women can have ability for improving their knowledge or 
uh, more uh, education issues. An advantage of, of this program is that they can learn from, from peers and, and given the, the similarities, the cultural similarities, I think they, they can learn something that they can really apply when they come back uh, home. We will share our experience, the people that we have met here and uh, experienced that how the country, the countryside and everything we will share with them and mostly we will share our experience uh, of uh, studying here. We know that some of our applicants and, and students now, they um, left their jobs, they've got this academic year and they will come back with a new knowledge acquired and with new networks. I really believe that it will help um, them to, to change their situation there. It's we that we can change our life and uh, we should not be wait for someone else to come uh, and change our life. Afghanistan uh, is a mountainous country and these mountains are not empty. They are full of the uh, very uh, valuable stones. So it uh, needs a person who work on it. It's wasting now. So I hope that one day I could uh, develop my country in the mining field. On top of the academic curriculum, we will add this extracurriculum course. We want to provide women with you know, a skill um, for job hunting, for giving interviews, um, such practical skills like you know, how to do a good CV. So we are hoping that uh, that program, uh, which has just been launched, will grow into something more, something bigger. Right now this program will educate 50 Afghan women in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Uh, but of course uh, that's a small amount. So we hope that uh, once uh, the value and the success of this program is seen, uh, and hopefully that happens before too long, we can then uh, expand it significantly jointly with the European Union. We are trying to step up the efforts to empower women in Afghanistan, both politically, in the government institution, in the public service, and economically, uh, to be part of, of the economy, to, to start a business, business opportunity. I want to say to them that uh, when you find some good opportunities, so don't waste it, don't uh, ignore it, just apply it and try to do your best in order to uh, be a good person or a useful person for not only your society, all the uh, societies, all the, all the women to show that we have the power to be improved. <laughs>